right, so now we're going to uh, come back to the tail. We're going to work on our um, internal tail blocks as well as putting in our blocking for our uh, fin boxes and our leash and our vent. Um, the first thing is we've got these um, cedar blocks that fit right in the tail of the board. Um, again, these are just kind of adding some solid material back in the tail that the rail bands will come around. And these are just going to get glued on and they're going to fit right in this space. Um, depending on the shape of your rail band or extra glue that might have squeezed out, you might have to trim this a little bit with some sandpaper, but it should fit in there pretty nicely. You might notice here that this plywood rail band sticks out a little bit. Um, that's fine. Once we come back and do some final shaping after the top is on, we'll kind of blend that in with this cedar tail block. So we're going to use our grizzly glue again here. Put a little bit on kind of around the perimeter. Just a little down the middle. And then just add a couple clamps. Okay, so on this board, which is a quad, um, in, on the bottom planks, we've got inscribed locations for our fin box blocking. Um, these are the solid cedar blocking that go inside the board. And basically, we're just going to use some pre-thickened epoxy or some thickened epoxy uh, on this bottom surface, and we're just going to glue them right down on those lines and clamp them into place. So we're going to take that and... Uh, I think it's smart to use your epoxy um, from the jugs for this step and mix a little bit of sawdust or whatever kind of filler you might have rather than using the tubes of epoxy because um, I think it's good to save that from putting your top planks on. Um, so mix up a little bit of epoxy for this. You don't need more than a few ounces. Stir it up, mix in some sawdust or some cabosil and um, put it on and just drop this block right into place. And we'll just throw a couple clamps on there. And when you can see as we clamp it, we get a little bit of squeeze out and I think it's a smart idea. Once everything's clamped in place, um, come back with your glove or a little stick and just do little fillets in those corners Just to make sure this is well sealed to the bottom of the board The thing I am going to do wherever this block Comes in contact with our plywood rail. I want to actually make sure to add some resin on that surface because when we go to drill for our fin box blocking for our fin boxes uh, we may be drilling through um, some of this plywood and even some of the cork rail that's going to go on later. So we want to make sure this surface is well sealed along the edge of this plywood rail band. Okay, our fin box blocks are in. Now we're gonna install our leash and our vent, which are these little uh, oh, roughly inch and a half by inch and a half blocks. Um, you'll notice your vent blocking um, needs to be hollowed out underneath. Um, so there's a little air channel that goes through it. Um, this is so later on when we install our vent and we drill down, we have an air space to hit so the air can go from inside the board up through the vent and out through the deck. So we're just going to glue these in back here in the back of the board, one on each side. Um, vent on one side, leash on the other. And uh, we're going to use, if you still have some epoxy from your fin box blocking, you can use that. Otherwise, we'll use grizzly glue and glue and clamp those in. And I'll show you a little tip on how to clamp them in place right now. For your leash and your vent, or anything that's hard to clamp, we're going to put glue on it, put the blocks in, and use our strong backs to add a little pressure where we can't reach. <laughs> 